Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me. News in detail. After six months of disruption, the Apple bus could resume its services in the city. The Transport Committee of the Nagpur Municipal Corporation, at its meeting held on Tuesday, accepted the proposal of flying off a city buses. Narendra Elias Balia Burkar, while chairing the meet held at the Standing Committee Hall at NMC's Central Office, Civil Lines, said that for the time being, the buses should apply with 50% occupancy only. After observing the initial services and buses on a feedback received from citizens, full occupancy in buses can be permitted. Since the coronavirus pandemic induced a lockdown was imposed throughout the country, the city bus services remain under suspension owing to surge in cases. At present, the virus is playing havoc in city and it remains to be seen if the administration accepts contention of transport committee and bring back buses on city roads. Exactly after one month of the disastrous flood in Nagpur division, the state government has sanctioned Rs 162.81 crore to flood affected people in Nagpur division on Tuesday. The flood causes due to heavy rain in East Vidarbha affected a large group of farmers and their crops and farmlands got damaged in excessive water. This is the first time that floods have damaged crops to this extent. Heavy rains in the catchment area of a river in Madhya Pradesh on August 31st led to a rise in water levels in several rivers in East Vidarbha. A bridge to collapse in Nagpur district. More than 53,000 people had been evacuated from 175 villages of Nagpur, Pandara, Chandrapur and Garchola district by NDRF, SDRF, Army and IF after water level of the Kunan and Kola river rose and submerged nearby villages. Sitabadi police have arrested two more goons in a connection with the sensational murder of notorious gambler Kishore Alias Bala Binekar, who allegedly had ordered weapons from Snapdeal and Amazon to eliminate the gangster turned Sauni Bojnale owner. The accused have been identified as Adarsh Alias Pappi Khare, a resident of 12 Signal, Borkarnagar, and Ravi Alias Chintu Suresh Nagacharya, resident of Delangi Pura Sirasbet, three third accused. Anikir Yashwant Manthapurwar, a resident of Farras, Zinga by Takli, is still at large. Investigations reveal that Adarsh Kare and Chitni Nagachari and procured the weapons online. Earlier, Signal Bharat Rajendra Pandit, a resident of Jartorodi, number one Indira Nagar, Imambada, and Asim Vijay Luderkar, a resident of 12 Signal for killing Balia Binekar, already arrested. The Nations Detection Squad of NMC on Tuesday took action against 205 responsible citizens for not wearing a mask and collected from them a total fine of Rs. 1,2500 in the last few days. This team have taken up action against 8,841 citizens and collected a total fine of Rs. 27,79500 from them. 52 offenders under Lakshminagar Zone, 33 under Dharampet Zone, 16 under Hanumanagar Zone, 9 under Dhantolik Zone, 19 under Nehronagar Zone, 16 under Gandhibag Zone, 22 under Satranjipura Zone, 14 under Lakarganj Zone, 20 under Ashinagar Zone, 2 under Mangalwari Zone and 2 within NMC headquarters were penalized by the Nuisance Detection Squad on Tuesday. This action has been taken under the guidance of Virsen Tambe since the implementation of the new fine rupees fine rule. Rupees 60 lakh 85,500 rupees fine has been imposed on 3,371 citizens. As many as 34 persons succumbed to COVID-19 on Tuesday, within this, the cumulative death toll in the district has reached to 2,472. On the other hand, as many as 1,480 persons have gone home after recovery and obtaining permission from the medical authorities. But this, the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 61,115, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The recovery rate of the district is now at 79.33%. The total corona positive cases tally of Nagpur district is now at 77,030 with 1,250 positive cases coming to light in the last 24 hours. While giving a breakup of the deaths, a medical official revealed that of the total casualties, 430 and 1,799 victims are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while as many as 243 persons are from outside Nagpur district. Well, that's all from this bulletin for more updates in and around the city. Stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.